Hey boys and girls, how's it going? This is Gip Maker. I'm playing Wild Wings 2. So I missed a couple days because I did not have my PC. I took it into a shop <coughs> to get a graphics card installed. There were some complications installing it, so I needed some help to work that out. But of course, couldn't be easy. They had to order a bunch of stuff for me. I needed a new power supply. And then, of course, <coughs> they didn't have the power supply in stock. So they had to order it, and Amazon said that it would come in for Monday. So I'm like, okay, I'll leave my PC there until Monday. And then Monday came and went. I didn't hear from the guys. Of course, they're not going to call me with an update. I don't know, why the fuck would they do that? So I had to call them at 5 p.m. and figure out, hey, what's going on? My computer's supposed to be ready for today. And they're like, oh, turns out the power supply isn't coming in today after all. I'm like, oh, great. Um, I left my PC with you over the weekend on the assumption that I would be getting it back on Monday. And of course that wasn't happening, so I left it there. And then today, today's Tuesday, I called them up again. I'm like, hey, what's going on? They're like, oh, it's, it's because of Black Friday. It's because of Black Friday that we didn't get the part in. There must have been, you know, a slowdown. But now Amazon says we're gonna get it in tomorrow. But guess what? For the rest of the week, I can't go over there and pick it up after work because I'm busy in the evening every day for the rest of this week. Today was the last day that I could go get it. Um, so I just had to go get it anyways and the new graphics card isn't installed. And I guess I'll take it in next weekend when you know, they've had a whole week. I'm sure they'll have the power supply by then and they'll take care of it then. So that's why I haven't had my PC. And of course, like, oh, it's not our fault. It's Amazon. Amazon was lied to us. Of course you can't. Nobody's fucking reliable. This goddamn world. I've been listening to a Hunter S. Thompson audiobook. It's got me in the mood to to say, God damn, fuck, fuck him, fuck. He's kind of a miserable guy, and he's dead. Well, here we are. <coughs> Whoa, there appears to be a small bottle here. It's half full of nitroglycerin. Well, that's convenient. Shade. It's half empty. Kids, that's called characterization. I'll be forever intellectually superior to you for the remainder of your life. Intellectually? Sheesh, come on guys, break it up. We got some nitroglycerin. I wonder if cacti is even doing anything. I found a half a bottle of half full nitroglycerin. Half empty, damn it. That's called characterization. Because you'll notice it's very subtle. But Shade considered the bottle half full. Chinook called it half empty. And it's like the old saying. You no, know, is the glass half full or half empty? And that determines, that represents how you look at the world. Do you see the glass is half full or do you see it as half empty? And... What Fitchell did was he used that idea. He kind of worked it into the dialogue very naturally so that you're, you don't even know it's happening. You don't even notice it, but you're getting, you know, you're, you're being fed all these details about the characters, their beliefs, you know, their, um, the way they think, the way they look at the world. Of 
course, if I weren't around to point it out, you probably wouldn't notice. That's how... that's how subtle it is. It's very subtle. What the hell am I doing? Uh, is it worth using this at all? I don't think so. Ply, it's, it does only 100, and it, but it takes away 14. Yeah, I remember now. In the last episode, I decided that I was going to retire her healing ability because it's just not good enough. Um, yeah. Well, I'm all out of the cheap healing items. Guess I'm using the expensive ones. Uh, I won't use them very often, though. Maybe I'll wait until characters are under a hundred health, and then I will administer healing. So... I also have a Rice Krispie Square. Pitchell wants me to stop making jokes about the whole flying joke. Uff. Oh, well, that appears to be some kind of... What do you know? It's an empty dynamite casing. I guess Cacti was right. Even though I don't like to admit it. Oh, am I gonna get past this guy? Oh, and anyway, that's a... That's a trap! Trap chest and diffuser kits don't seem to actually exist. They're not available to pick up. I guess you have to buy them. Have I seen them anywhere for sale yet, though? Mm. You do not have a diffusal kit. I guess you asked me just as a joke. I bet I can buy them from that one guy who's who sells a little bit of everything. Okay. So we are we are downtrodden yellow potions, cool. <coughs> Attack! Who attacks? You do Dick. And Joseph, you also need help. Green potions, how long have I had these? Well, who needs protection? I don't know. Who has the least health? Joseph does. And Dick also. Uh, what's our goal? I have to search for things to create dynamite. Entry cylindrical case, uh, nitroglycerin. Okay, I thought there were three items for some reason, but I guess there were only two. What do you have to say? You got something for me? Damn right we did! Here's a dynamite casing and some nitroglycerin. Half full! Well, this was lucky. What do you mean? Oh! Nothing, man. Look, we're just on the way to success at the pace we're going. I didn't think we'd find all this so quickly. Awesome! So what else do we have to find again? There's just the clay left. I need to pack it into the casing and let it soak up the nitroglycerin. Fortunately for us, this very ground we're standing in is friggin' saturated with clay. It's right beneath it. Really? Really? Now, excuse me, I'm gonna create this thing, and then we can surface and blow that wall to high heaven. Okay, guys, let's head out to that room again. <coughs> Uh, oh, it got me. Okay, maybe a hundred is cutting it too close as the threshold for healing. Maybe we'll say 150. Depends. I should keep an eye on how much damage guys are doing. This wall looks like it's about to collapse on itself. We will have an opening here in no time. 
Now, if you will, could you hand me your items? Sweet! Making this will take little to no time at all. Just give me a sec. Half an hour later... Hello! We don't have all day, Cacti! Whoa, whoa! Shade, chill it, man. I'm almost done. I'll have you know, little cactus, that we are currently being hunted down by the remaining vampirum left here. You never told me that. Let me hit him. Oh man, just once please let me hit him. Since when did you ever need permission from us, Chinook? Took the words right out of my mouth, dick. Word. Cram it, busters. I was talking to myself. I don't think punching a cactus is a very good idea either. Do you guys hear that? Ah! Ah, Joy! No, oh, no, it's some guys. We got them. Prepare to die, little bats. What the deuce? What is it now? Is that a freaking cactus wearing an orange cape? What? Ay, vampirum! Shade, hold them off. It would be my pleasure. Let's go, chumps! That cactus is wearing a cape. And it talks. For Zotz's sake, wake up! Shade Silver Ring is right in front of us. Ah, ah, right. Die! I'm scared of these two! What do you have? Nothing. Ugh. Skills! Uh, maybe I should give him a potion to give him some skills again. I guess I will this turn. <laughs> Item! Eat a mosquito. Cool. Oh, they got help! Uh, I already said, wait, is that the shade guy? You even forgot why you are here right now, huh? Sorry, this is a very confusing scene. There's even a living cactus behind him. Ugh, not you too. Just help us crush these nitwits. Hey, I'm good at that. You will not distract me from the enemy that I have chosen to attack first. But that dick will heat up and do whatever he wants now. Drain life! Time for you to give the health to Joseph. And you know, maybe I should feed a mosquito to Joseph uh, so that he can um, give Shade a power up. have one for speeding up? No, maybe it was Chinook who had the one to speed up. Oh well, attack is good. Yeah! Hmm. Dick's heat up doesn't last very long. Oh, but anyway, I want to heal Shade. You got the other rogue first. Actually, Shade should use a skill. I think it's skill time. Cheap shot! Hmm, not as powerful as I hoped it would be. The main thing about Cheap Shot is it ignores defense, so... You use it on guys with armor. about using defense is I would have to use it on each and every character for me to really feel like it, it's making a difference. Magic resist, yeah, same with resistances, same with regen. Does Dick have a status? I guess so. 
Oh, I guess that's just his anger. I guess that didn't count. Huh. Can't convince myself that there's anything better to do than just plain old attacks. And indeed, I was one move away from killing him, so... That's the case of things. And they died. I can't thank you enough, Shade. That was a close one. Is the dynamite done? Yes, it is. Let me just plant it here. There we go. Phoenix, if you will, please. Phoenix! Oh, oh, sorry. I'm still a bit shaken up. And then they died. Good lord! Get out of here, it's going to blow! And then they died. Sheesh! That was almost too close. How the heck did it blow up so quick? Well, friends, that's just the magic of Phoenix's fire breath. Loving it. Well, gosh, guys, thanks. The dynamite must have made quite an opening. Yeah, no kidding. Let's stop talking about it and let's just go see. That blast could have incinerated every inch of us effortlessly. Well, folks, it's been nice meeting again, but it's time we part. I want to get the heck out of this damn place. Yeah, we've wasted enough time in this rotten pyramid. I don't blame you. Till next time, I guess, and thanks. No problem, we are forever in your debt, you know. Did I win? Okay, I wonder if I should make my way back to that... S no, there isn't a save point over there. I might as well proceed! Where am I now? Should I fight one of these guys? Well, I guess I'm fighting these guys. Uh, I don't like this fight. I'm gonna try to run away. Oh, and I walked straight into the event again. Okay. This is fine. I can handle two rogues. Switch out Marina for Chinook. We'll give Marina a break. Let's just check his equipment first. So I might have gotten, well, I don't have anything else that he can use, so we're good in that department. Locked! But wait! I've got a lockpick! Hey, wait a minute! Weren't there locked doors? Ah, now I'm here. Yeah, there are locked doors up on top of the castle. But... I don't think I tried using the lockpick on them. Ooh, I made a door. What's through the door? Oh, it's more caves! With guys in them! Shit! Oh shit! What the hell are these? They are blocking the way. Problem solved. Oh, oh. Okay, I said I wouldn't make fun of flying anymore. It's just the way it is. It's just a restriction of the engine. This is, this is RPG Maker. This isn't. This isn't Unity. This isn't Quake Engine. This isn't Source. This isn't the Thief Engine. Okay. 
What do you think of this? Fucking VR? Yeah, bitch. Hey, what's, uh... Maybe I will use... a sweep kick on this guy. Did 62. That's less than most people's normal attacks. Kind of sucks. How much is your normal attack? Oh, it's less. I guess it is better for your Chinook to use sweep kicks. Stale Beatles. So now we're into the part of the game that I have played before, but only once. The very beginning, first little bit, that's the part that I played over and over and over. But this is the part of the game that I've only played once before. Which kind of means... I already know what's going to happen in terms of the story. But I don't remember every single detail about every dungeon, which would help me talk about it with authority. So you might say I'm getting the worst of both worlds. I can't sound wise about the dungeon and what to expect. Actually, I don't remember how much more there is to do in this dungeon. A switch! Clickety. Viridia Sap, yeah. Oh, two brutes. I don't like the looks of this. Can go without that noise. I think I can just auto battle these guys. They ain't too tough. Victoriously. Uh oh, it's another guy. Oh! I can kill these guys with auto battle too. Watch this. Check it out. Oh, what's wrong with this guy? I'm thinking who can heal status, but only Marina. And Joseph can heal statuses. And Marina is not in the party, and Joseph is the one with the status. So I was really stuck there for a moment. I was really short on options. But I think we got out of this one okay. Uh, I came from there. I didn't come from there, I meant to say I went there already. Oh, Grinka, we got you now, you rotten bat. More like you got yourself. I think I will power up. Oh man, I've only got one of these left. Maybe I'll use the succulent mosquito. Yeah, that's a good time to use it. MP for everyone. <laughs> uh. Although, I'm not too sure why. Unless more people are joining this battle. These guys aren't all that threatening. 
Sweep kick. <laughs> Wing smash. Fight. Whoa, that did a lot. Must have been a critical hit. Good. card in my computer clearly so that I can play RPG Maker 2K3 games like this one without turning the settings all the way down I'm tired of doing that I don't want to turn the settings all the way down I have to turn the settings down to 640 by 480 Well, this is some grade A padding. I guess I gotta walk all the way back over to the switch. Ain't this some filler? Am I gonna run into that guy? No. Come on, bitch. Eh. So what's interesting about this dungeon is the character who you might consider to be the boss of the dungeon. I actually killed him quite early on. It was that... I already forget his name, but the... the yellow-haired guy who was... talking about torturing the blue-haired bat. Uh-oh. What's going down here? Look at all these slow moving guys. Uh, let's do it. Let's kill these guys. But I will be aggressive. I shall hasten and embolden shade. Whoa. The first thing he's going to do, having been hastened and emboldened, is use a healing item on Dick. Skill! 70. Wow, that was quite, quite a hit. Now we're gonna heal Shade, because he's having a rough time of it. Maybe Dick should be healed too. I think he's fine. The threshold is after all 150. Okay, now he's less than 150. Tiger moths. Those are very useful. So if I'm blundering into a boss, and I honestly don't remember what happens next, I really hope I get to save soon. Because if I get a game over and I have to redo all this, and get so mad, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go on the project page. I sense something. What is it, Shade? I don't know. Don't you smell that? Something just doesn't smell right. It kind of looks like somebody was doing something here not very long ago. Standing around here might be a big mistake. We have to press on. Ah, so I see it's getting to you too, Joseph. Oh, just close it, Chinook. 
Yeah, if you think about it, Joseph here has been right about pretty much everything that came out of his mouth. Oh look, it's some guys. Hi there. I knew it! I knew he would come! Well, what do you know? Looks like your guessing skills are not flawed after all. Oh, it wasn't a guess, woman! My foreseeing powers are undeniably powerful and you know it. We couldn't be doomed to this bloody pyramid for the rest of our lives. Well, I could say a mix of optimism did you some good as well. Optimism or not, I knew that Shade Silverwing himself would come. Whatever you say, man. Sorry about him, he's turned quite nutty ever since we were dropped in this crap hole. Nutty or not, I am unbelievably good at this. Er, that's nice. You think we should get out of here, guys? It is pretty urgent. Regardless of Orion's constant claims, I really am surprised to see you here standing before us in the fur. It really is something startling. Sorry if we seem to be wasting your time. It is not simply a matter of wasting our time, miss. We are being chased around constantly. Oh, in that case... No, no! Da! Ah! What's your deal? No, we can't leave. Danger lurks. Oh, for Nocturna's sake. We can't leave. Danger lurks. We will all die. What's going on in your head, Orion? An explosion. A fiery explosion will consume us all and will be the end of this pyramid. Well, I'm convinced. Can we leave now? Sure, let's hit the road. Thank you. Mission updated. What's the deal here? Can I fly out of there? No. Well, I guess that's all the survivors. Yep, now we just walk out of here. Whoa! All right, Silverwing, give it up! This is your last stand. We'll do everything in our power to halt your heinous acts. Wait a minute, crap! He has the last of the prisoners. I'm just counting how many guys are on the map. There's uh, eight of them. Just in case it corresponds to the number of guys I'm going to have to fight in the battle. I just want to keep track. We were too slow, but that's all right. We can still destroy these insects. You do realize how many of your guys we killed off, right? Shut your mouth! Of course we do! You managed to defeat Gillian, that was his name, but what can you do against us? The same exact thing, I guess. I grow tired of this. Give us your worst, you imbeciles. Imbeciles? Ha ha! You stupid Silverwing! Let's see what you little cretins got! First wave, go! Roger that, boss! Oh! Okay, I think I should use uh, another succulent mosquito. This is my last one, but oh well, it's a good time to use it. Skill, let's give Shade his boost. And boost number two. Maybe I'll go around and give everyone defense this time as well. I sense this battle is going to be pretty long, so it'll be worth the effort. Kicked his ass. Or should I heal? Okay, next character who isn't Shade will heal Chinook. Joseph will start distributing defense up. Now I hope RM2K isn't so shitty that one skill replaces another one. That would make me very angry. No! I used it on the wrong guy! That makes me angry, also. Or maybe I did use it on the right guy. I don't know. I give up. I forget what I'm doing. Who am I even... Who am I attacking for? Joseph. You notice that? How you... How it stops flashing as soon as you go into the... the 
the action menu and then it doesn't flash anymore even if you cancel out like why can't it just keep flashing that'd be a good idea right Make Dick angry again. Oh, he needs some skill points. This is my last skill point deal. Um, maybe I shouldn't use that. Do I have anything else? Oh, I have all these. Hmm. I'm gonna start using up some of these scrolls. Ice spikes. Dead. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Whoa. Okay, um... What am I doing? I should have used... I should have used another scroll. Now it's too late. Now I feel like it's not worth it. One guy left, I think I'm safe just using normal attacks. Everybody died! Oh, the battle ended and started again, so all the bonuses are gone. I see how it is. No, 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 it's, it's okay. I get it. I get it. Hmm. Prevent an enemy from using their skills. What skills do the brutes have? I've never really observed. Uh. Oh, well. Dick can get angry once more. I think I want Joseph fighting. That's one. No, Dick is gonna use another lava scroll, let's say. Now let's use it on that guy. <laughs> End of the game. Okay, time to use my last mosquito. We're gonna give it to Shade that he can use his special moves. Such as... Wing Smash. 128 damage. It's not bad at all. You! You! Ah! Useless! You're not the first to think so. Grrr! You really think you've won Silverwing? Just wait! When I return... Oh no! It blew up! Uh oh. Well, I guess there's gonna be a timer and a countdown. Oh man, my head. Shade, this place is falling apart! Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap, let's get the hell out of here! Countdown! Are there gonna be roaming enemies as well? I'll tell you, that would really piss me off. Oh, yep, yeah, enemies are still around. Shit! Well, so much for 
I don't think there were any locked doors left. I think I did go everywhere. Oh man, I can't remember where to go. I'm pretty sure it's out to the upper right, this way. Yeah, right through there. Whoa! Don't want to touch any shitheads. Oh, I touched a shithead! That's okay, I don't have to fight. Oh, another one! Okay, this guy's right in the way, so I am going to have to fight through him. Look at that, I got a whole minute. Come on, auto battle! Do your worst! Auto battle it up! No time to pose. No time to pour over the spoils. Just gotta get out of here. Watch this, I'm gonna... I'm gonna whoop! Look at this little stunt. The place is falling apart, but I took the time to... to fly up to the top. Because I'm a... I'm... like that. I sometimes do things that annoy people. Dots! Wow, that was close. Does anyone even know where that explosion came from? Well, it's sure as hell all around us. I knew there was something fishy about those rubble piles. They were set up in a neat fashion. It wasn't hard to distinguish them. But we got all the prisoners out, right? We should. That vampirum said that we got the last of them. Ah, <sighs> what a relief. Well... I don't think we'll be seeing any more Vampirum for a while. At least until we end up facing Goth again. Don't even mention that scumbag's name. Let's go. We still have the Land of Fireflies to check out. Right. Guess my dad isn't here. Depends if I try to go in. The lock is totaled. And here we have... A slime portal? Let's see what the stats are for this slime portal. Vigor 5, more motivation 2. Well, I already have enough motivation. I just need vigor. I don't suppose I have any slime food. Of course not. That would be too easy. Give it a save. And let's head back to the town. But then... Pant. Pant. Damn it all. Our pyramid. The changes won't be enough to bring down the pyramid, you said. <coughs> the charges will surely be enough to kill Shade and his crew, you said. Now look, you friggin' moron. You ruined our damn pyramid. The prisoners got away. What more can you do to screw us all over? What do we have left, huh? Jeez. And you were bragging about how you could easily kill them. I didn't see you make any smart plans. Are you saying you made a good move? Are you screwing with me? Look, my aunt, those bombs should have killed them. I don't know what the hell went wrong. Oh, I forgot to mention the wonderful timing you made. You could have killed me, you moron. Yeah, I don't know what happened there either. Something must have went wrong in the timer system. You! Ah, damn it! Why can't you do anything right? Will you quit your belly aching? Look, there should be a colony somewhere else on this island. I always hated this place anyway. You okay? Is all the steam out of your big head? Lex? Aye! What are you doing? Useless friggin' moron! You really were a damned worthless sack of crap! Don't know a damn thing! 
quite the bludgeoning. We managed to get everyone out of there. The pyramid's pretty much been destroyed. What? How? I don't really know. Some big explosion or something. The pyramid just collapsed on itself. Well, I'm glad to see you're all okay from that. Didn't find your dad, huh? Nope. Do you have a place where these guys can stay? Sure, don't worry. I'll take care of them. Cool. So our next destination? The Land of Fireflies. Supposedly a sacred land where the Battle of the Birds and Beasts was said to have taken place. All of it now is a huge monster infested island. It is said that an all-knowing sage lives there. He may be able to know where your dad is. How would that work? Well, he's all-knowing. Okay. Look, it's worth a try, right? I just hope it isn't too dangerous or anything. I believe you guys can handle it. Good luck. If you have not noticed by now, when you return to an area after completing a chapter, sometimes a side quest opportunity will appear. If you wish, try searching around a previously visited area, starting with the Cannon Guild, to see if anyone has a side quest for you to take up. Sometimes you'll have to go further into the story before side quests will appear in areas you've already revisited, so keep a lookout. You will be rewarded with EXP and or money if you can complete one. Happy hunting. Great. So first, going to get some free healing from Vita's place. Am I going to say hi to Vita while I'm here? No. The entire party is fully here. Oh, weird. There's a barrel in front of the door now. I wonder why that is. I wonder if I can still get in from the outside. Now guess what? I'm gonna go save it. And we're gonna stop for today.